Well, the Speedway's been an oval track, and it's been oval track excitement here for a long time, right? And uh, since I've been president, I've had a desire to see more happen here than just stock car racing. Um, last year, we had a very successful mud race here. Uh, we had, I believe, 40 competitors. Uh, it was our best season. It was our best day um, since I've been involved. It was a great time. There was a lot of excitement, uh, and uh, the fans were really wowed. So. Um, this is not only an oval track, but we'd like to bring other venues here, other things for people to be excited about when it comes to racing. Uh, so this year, as a preseason event, we're going to uh, have a zero effort hit to pass. It's uh, the Dave Rake Farms Circus on Wheels. Um, there's a lot of thought going into it. Not only is this just racing for points, but this is more of going to be a comedy event. Uh, People will be having fun in their cars, going around the track. Uh, they're they're going to be shooting each other with paintball guns. There's going to be lots of excitement and new ideas happening here at the Speedway that just haven't happened before, or they've been tried and failed. And and we may fail in the future, but we'll uh, keep trying new events until uh, everybody in town wants to come out here for some reason. Right now uh, we have a, a die-hard core group, it's a small number of people, it's only around six or seven people and, and it's slowly starting to grow, it's a little too slow, it would be nice to have a few more volunteers out here helping out and uh, being here for support so that you know there's not so much stress. We see, if we see we have some backup people that are going to fill the spot of someone who might be sick for instance on a race day, it's nice to be able to pick up a phone and know that you have some resources at your disposal. The volunteers is what makes this track go around and, uh, and it always will be. Our Mother's Day season opener, we always start then. Um, everybody shows up, we do our oval track racing. Uh, we have uh, lots of roundy round events throughout the year. Um, we have some double headers this year. Uh, we do the Riverboat Days Parade Saturday and Sunday, we do both of those racing. Um, and all our regular events here, and then we wrap it up with the demolition derby and the mud race at the end of the year. I think the first, the, the hardest part of the process for people to get around is to pick up that phone and phone somebody who's involved. Um, they may be intimidated by cost. They come out here and look and see that, oh, there's a crash and it must be expensive fixing cars all the time and, and this must be quite an expensive sport. But with the local businesses that sponsor all the racers here, that makes it quite affordable. There's young people in racing, 17, 18, 19 years old, and, and they find someone to borrow a trailer. That can be, the trailer is a big deal for people. That's a hurdle to come across. But if, if they can get a trailer, then putting a car on the track is very cost effective. It, it's, there's so much help around the track, and there's cars available right now that you wouldn't have to start from the ground up. There's people that'll, that'll give you a car, they put you in a car let you get the feel for it, see if you like it. Then if you don't like it, you can walk away. And if you like it, um, we won't be able to stop you from staying. You can go to Astral Radio. You can, they can tell you how to get involved. They can give you contact numbers. You can, uh, it's very easy to get involved. It's just a, it's a hurdle to pick up that phone and dial the number. I used to volunteer occasionally in the sweeper truck, helping out uh, when they were low on people here. And, uh, and I, I was always intimidated, like I said, I was always intimidated by the cost. To me, I was convinced at 15 years old that, that these guys are all millionaires in the pits with their race cars. And not did I only find out that wasn't true, I found out how cost effective it was. When a friend says, hey, we're doing a race and I have a car and I just need three days help and if you help me, then you can drive it. And that was my bait. And I took the bait, I helped him on his car. I came out here and uh, won a couple of races. So 
looking in into the fans and seeing seeing my oldest son crying because his daddy won a race it's it's kind of hard to uh not keep racing <laughs>
It is a, a big um, event. We're so happy with the businesses of Terrace, the organizations, the different organizations that come out. There's always someone that has a new idea and let's go with it, you know, and, and we've, we've done very well, but the businesses and the people of Terrace have got to be commended. Yes, we are a committee and we put it all together, and, um, but thanks to them or we wouldn't, we wouldn't have this celebration. Well, I would just like to have people come out and check us out. I'm sure they would be mildly surprised at, at the variation of events that we have. And um, just come out and spend a weekend with us and a week with us and you'll love it and have a good time. Yeah, I think uh, the beginning of the season we knew there's a lot of guys that would be missing. Uh, we lost a lot of veterans and a lot of young guys stepped in and uh, you know at the very beginning we, we didn't think we'd have the team that we had uh, at the end here and you know we're very disappointed with our outcome but we have to be proud of uh, the way we, we came up to this uh, this point. And we went all the way to the finals there and fell one game short to Smithers but to come here and 
and uh, you know pull off this after playing five games in five days feels really awesome. But we wanted to get out in front early because we know that we wanted to get it get the head before Kitimat got their four check going, and so we knew we had to hit them and, and take away their four check because they're a really smooth skating team. So that was our game plan. Yeah, it's our it's our team mascot. She's 12 days old today, and. Uh, I uh, said we're all going on a trip to go play some hockey. <laughs> we're uh, definitely very thankful for uh, the fans that we have here and the support that we've had all season. And, um, you know, that's that's the one thing that keeps us playing, right? I mean, we, we love our fans and we're thankful for the fans that we have. We wanted to get a good start. We knew here with all their fans, you know, there'd be a lot of energy for them. So to come in and kind of seize that and take it away from them and quiet the building down, you know, we just felt like we kind of took the momentum and we just carried it right through the end of the game. If we had gone to Smithers, we might have had the baby in Smithers. I was overdue at the time, so Aaron missed the, the league championship. Um, it was hard for him to do because he never misses a game, but we had the baby in Williams Lake. Yeah, it's been a long one. We've played uh, 18 regular season games, eight playoff games in the CIHL, and then three round robin games, a semifinal game, and a Koi Cup final games. I just tell everyone, you know, it's such a great game, right? I mean, it's just, it's just great, man. Just if you love it, just keep playing, and, you know, who cares to what level you take it? Just have fun with it and just, you know, never give up and just just keep pushing and you know take it as far as you can play as long as you can and enjoy it as much as you can we know we lost to a good team it wasn't the outcome we're looking for but we have to give uh, congratulations where it's due so congratulations to them and uh, you know wish them well first year with the team we won the koi and it's my last year and i'm done now so to go out with one it feels great this is probably my eighth koi cup so i've been playing with the stampeders for a while first had him on the skates at when he was three years old I put him on a skate and I made rinks for him every year. Every year I make him a rink. He's out at the back all hours of night skating and skating and skating. I, um, I have several several careers. Uh, you know, uh, I'm at first. I started out with. Um, I was a. a um, I started out as an actor for for about geez, 12 years now, and then um, I and then I kind of got into a little bit of uh, contemporary dance with some traditional roots to it, and. Um, and then I eventually uh, got brave enough to do my music, and um, and and also pottery. I do pottery as well, but um, you know uh, the music has really been something really close to my heart, and and that's a uh, kind of I tie everything together through the music. Basically how I started in music was uh, um, I did a lot of sports. I was, did basketball, martial arts. Martial arts was my big thing and kickboxing and, and uh, hockey and volleyball. And um, I was uh, in high school and I, I had two PE classes for that semester. I played sports before lunchtime and after school and then two PE classes and I just thought my day was unbalanced. So and I remember my father uh, bought myself and my brothers a guitar for Christmas and um, 
I dropped one of my PE classes and to try out this, this guitar thing, you know. And uh, that's, that's where the journey began and everything changed after that. Like I would spend like, I'd watch the moon from this side go all the way, all the way to that side of the sky. So it was like eight, nine hours, like starting playing at 11 o'clock at night and you're still playing till seven in the morning or I just couldn't put it down. All the guitars have have uh, have their own songs in them. I'll go play some little clunker, junky guitar, and it's got this personality to it that that's just undeniable. So really, you know, it's it's kind of a dance with the instrument, uh, um, where I just you know find its own its voice, and and I just get inspiration from from anything and everything. And so, like, if I'll, like for instance, I'll pick up this guitar that I, you know, and and play it, and I go, oh, there's something new in there that 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 I probably wouldn't have found without this sound. So I, I really tr get triggered by sounds a lot. Yeah. If the fall feels like forever. 